Test 3. Hello, this is the Cambridge Assessment English Starters Listening Test. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, this is a photo of my favourite toy shop. That's nice, Anna. Are you in the photo? Yes, I'm with my mum. Are you holding your mum's hand, Anna? That's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. My friend Hugo is in this photo too. Where is he? He's sitting on the chair. Is Hugo wearing glasses? Yes. Two. Is your friend's mum in the toy shop too? Yes, her name's Jill. Is Jill wearing boots? Yes, and she's looking at a book about trees. Three. That woman has got a big smile. Yes, her name's Sue. Sue? Yes. She's looking at that toy mouse. It's funny. <laughs> yes, it is. Four. Do you know that boy on the floor? Yes, that's Ben. What is he playing with? It's a train. Ben loves them. Yes, I can see. Five. And that man is my friend's dad. His name's Mark. Is he looking at the doll's house? Yes. It's my friend's birthday. Mark wants the doll's house for her. It's very beautiful. Yes. I'd like to have one of those. Now listen to part one again. One. My friend Hugo is in this photo too. Where is he? He's sitting on the chair. Is Hugo wearing glasses? Yes. Two. Is your friend's mum in the toy shop too? Yes. Her name's Jill. Is Jill wearing boots? Yes. And she's looking at a book about trees. Three. That woman has got a big smile. Yes, her name's Sue. Sue? Yes, she's looking at that toy mouse. It's funny. <laughs> yes, it is. Four. Do you know that boy on the floor? Yes, that's Ben. What is he playing with? It's a train. Ben loves them. Yes, I can see. Five. And that man is my friend's dad. His name's Mark. Is he looking at the doll's house? Yes, it's my friend's birthday. Mark wants the doll's house for her. It's very beautiful. Yes, I'd like to have one of those. That is the end of part one.
Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. What are you doing, Sam? I'm drawing a picture of a zoo. I see. What's the name of the zoo? It's Pet Zoo. Do you spell that P E T? Yes, Pet. That's right. Two. What are your favorite animals? Monkeys. They're very silly. And how many are there in this zoo? Nineteen. Nineteen. Wow, that's a lot. I know. Three. And this is my favorite monkey. <laughs> He's really funny. Has he got a name? Yes, it's Baby. B A B Y. It's very small. Baby is a good name for it. Thanks. Four. This picture is for my teacher. Is your teacher Mrs. Truck? Yes. Do you spell truck? T R U C K. Yes. My classmates and I like drawing pictures for her. Five. Are there a lot of children in your class? No, there are twelve. Pardon? There are twelve. That's good. Yes, my class is great. Now listen to part two again. One. What are you doing, Sam? I'm drawing a picture of a zoo. I see. What's the name of the zoo? It's Pet Zoo. Do you spell that P E T? Yes, Pet. That's right. Two. What are your favorite animals? Monkeys. They're very silly. And how many are there in this zoo? Nineteen. Nineteen. Wow, that's a lot. I know. Three. And this is my favorite monkey. <laughs> He's really funny. Has he got a name? Yes, it's Baby. B A B Y. It's very small. Baby is a good name for it. Thanks. Four. This picture is for my teacher. Is your teacher Mrs. Truck? Yes. Do you spell truck? T R U C K. Yes, my classmates and I like drawing pictures for her. Five. Are there a lot of children in your class? No, there are twelve. Pardon? There are twelve. That's good. Yes. My class is great. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now 
Listen and look. There is one example. Who is in Kim's photo? Is this a photo of your family, Kim? Yes, that's my cousin. And is that your grandma and your father? That's right. My mother isn't in this photo. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What animal is Alex thinking about? OK. Let's play a game. What animal is this? It's got a long tail and it isn't a snake. Can it swim? Yes, and it's scary. So it's not a horse. I know, Alex. It's a crocodile. Yes, that's right. Two. Which is Grace's monster picture? Which is your monster picture, Grace? My monster has got four eyes. Wow! Where? Are they in its arms? Yes, and its ears are in its legs. Three. Where are the tennis rackets? Children, let's go to the playground and play tennis. Where are the rackets? They're not in the classroom. No, they're in the sports hall. Go and get them, please. OK, and we've got the balls. Four. What is new in Dan's bedroom? Do you like my bedroom? It's great. Is that a new desk, Dan? No, but look, I've got a new lamp. That's good. You can sit in that old armchair and read your storybooks. Five. What is in Grandpa's garden? What has Grandpa got in his garden? Let's look. Well, he hasn't got tomatoes. I don't like those, but he's got potatoes. Great. We can have them with some carrots for dinner. Now listen to part three again. One. What animal is Alex thinking about? OK. Let's play a game. What animal is this? It's got a long tail and it isn't a snake. Can it swim? Yes. And it's scary. So it's not a horse. I know, Alex. It's a crocodile. Yes, that's right. Two. Which is Grace's monster picture? Which is your monster picture, Grace? My monster has got four eyes. Wow! Where? Are they in its arms? Yes. And its ears are in its legs. Three. Where are the tennis rackets? Children, let's go to the playground and play tennis. Where are the rackets? They're not in the classroom. No, they're in the sports hall. Go and get them, please. OK, and we've got the balls. Four. What is new in Dan's bedroom? Do you like my bedroom? It's great. 
Is that a new desk, Dan? No, but look, I've got a new lamp. That's good. You can sit in that old armchair and read your story books. Five. What is in Grandpa's garden? What has Grandpa got in his garden? Let's look. Well, he hasn't got tomatoes. I don't like those, but he's got potatoes. Great. We can have them with some carrots for dinner. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a nice kitchen. It's got a lot of cakes in it. Yes. Do you want to color them? Okay. Look at the cake on the table. The cake on the table? Yes. Color that cake purple, please. Can you see the purple cake? This is an example. Now you listen and color. One. What can I color now? There's a cake in the cupboard. Oh yes. Color that cake yellow. Okay. I'm coloring the cake in the cupboard now. What color now? Brown is a good color for a cake. Right. Which cake is that color? The one next to the flowers in the window. Yes, the one next to the flowers. That's good. Three. The girl has a picture of a cake on her T-shirt. There's a cake on the girl's T-shirt. Yes. Look, I can color that cake green. Okay. Four. And there's a poster on the wall with a cake on it. Oh yes, I like the cake on the poster. It's a birthday cake. What color would you like to do that cake? Ah,、uh, red. That's my favorite color. Great. Color that cake now, please. Five. Can you see? The cat is sleeping on a rug with a picture of a cake. You can color that cake blue. Okay. I'd like a rug with a cake on it for my bedroom. Yes, me too. Now listen to part four again. One. What can I color now? There's a cake in the cupboard. Oh yes. Color that cake yellow. Okay, 
I'm coloring the cake in the cupboard now. Two. What color now? Brown is a good color for a cake. Right. Which cake is that color? The one next to the flowers in the window. Yes, the one next to the flowers. That's good. Three. The girl has a picture of a cake on her t shirt. There's a cake on the girl's t shirt? Yes, look. I can color that cake green. Okay. Four. And there's a poster on the wall with a cake on it. Oh, yes. I like the cake on the poster. It's a birthday cake. What color would you like to do that cake? Uh, red. That's my favorite color. Great. Color that cake now, please. Five. Can you see? The cat is sleeping on a rug with a picture of a cake. You can color that cake blue. Okay. I'd like a rug with a cake on it for my bedroom. Yes, me too. That is the end. Of the starters listening test.